It's kind of crazy The kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I feel so safe in your arms Now you're all I need It wasn't long before I knew That I fell for you and you had my heart as fast as the seasons change, my heart was stolen. Parts of me that were broken found love. And no amount of distance can change how I'm feeling. Cause I know this is real. I'm so happy. friends welcome back to a new video um i thought for the sake of nostalgia take it back to last year um i'm just doing a little home vlog today i've been filming so many like fun things i've been up to but today we're just chilling at home and it's still interesting right this video is very kindly sponsored by decenio which i'm so excited about these two prints these two prints here that i have i bought from decenio like two years ago a year and a half ago so it's so cool like to work with them because I literally love their prints. I bought them multiple times. Like I bought those ones like a year and a half ago and I bought another one like three years ago. Like I am a hardcore fan. And yeah, today we're gonna be changing out the prints, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna get onto that now. Look how pretty. I'm so excited about these, all the colors. Stunning. So like I said, I have been buying from Decenio for ages. I love their prints. They have such good variety. I feel like they have so many different styles. And as my style has like evolved over time, I've always found like new prints that I love for like just refreshing my room like I'm doing today. They also have a gallery wall tool so you can kind of plan out how your print's gonna look on the wall, your dream wall, you know, I love gallery wall. They ship to countries worldwide and I'd really recommend checking them out. They have so many different prints. I went for some really colorful, just bright, pretty, artistic ones for this time because I just feel like my room was getting a little bit neutral and I love just like color and injecting a bit of fun. And I love that these prints also have like kind of a vintagey feel to them. So yeah, you can click the link in the description. That will take you directly to these prints if you want to get the same ones I have. Um, and I also have a discount code. It is NANA30, all in capitals, and that will get you 30% off prints from Decenio, valid until midnight on the 19th. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, and thank you so much to Decenio for working with me. ordered some clips off of Etsy and they're really nice so I thought I'd give a shout out to Millie Grace this is the Etsy store that I bought them from but isn't that so cute very lovely
guys, so a couple days have passed since the beginning of this video. I was looking back through the footage, obviously I didn't film that much, and that evening was quite boring, and I just didn't really, I don't know, I probably, I can't even remember what happened, but I was probably just in bed like chilling, and I just didn't feel like I was doing anything interesting. But, so we're coming back today, and I'm just gonna film like, it's, what time is it? It's like the uh, late afternoon um, at the moment and I'm just gonna film the rest of today. I'm going out for dinner with Nuria. I think Moya's also coming, which is really fun. So it's gonna be a fun little evening. And I'm also going to Edinburgh tomorrow. I'm going to stay at my flat and like see Neve and my friends there and also hopefully go to the Fringe because it hasn't been canceled yet. Um, so that's what I'm up to. <laughs> I'm about to pack everything for the trip. I'm so excited to just be going back. I love Edinburgh so much. It's just like my happy place. So I'm gonna pack everything up now and get ready for dinner and everything. So that'll be fun. I'm also watching Zoella's, uh, one of Zoella's vlogs. I'm loving her baby content. Guys, I'm such a sucker for baby content. I've watched it all. If you have any like people that post that sort of stuff. I just love it so much. Like so overwhelmingly much considering I don't want a child like for a long long time. I just, I just, I don't know. So Ella was like my comfort YouTuber. Like I just feel so at peace, so chilled out. I love her. I just love it. So I'm gonna watch some of that now. I'm already excited for her vlogmas. Like she's, mmm, mmm. Okay. <laughs> can now see I am in Edinburgh. This vlog ended up being very all over the place but I was just editing and I realised I've finished this book now which I've been reading for so long and I've shown it in a lot of videos. So I thought I would give a little review slash just like my thoughts and if you've read this I'd love if you like left me a comment about it. So this is On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Wong and I was recommended this by so many people I feel like I've seen everyone on the internet read this book and it was not at all what I was expecting. So it's essentially a letter from Little Dog, that's the like the main character, to his mother, but his mother's illiterate so she will never read it. Which is in itself like an interesting concept, like a whole book that's a letter. It doesn't have a plot in the same way like regular fictional books do. And that I think was what like slowed me down with this reading this at the start because I was almost waiting for the plot to kind of like kick in um because it's a letter everything is a little bit like all over the place and it's not as if like it's not a page turner in the sense of like you're, you you want to know what happens next you're like itching to find out the next part of the storyline it's not like that at all the writing in this book is like stunning Ocean Vuong is a poet so obviously like the actual writing is just like beautiful like I've never I've like it's one of the best books I've read for like the writing it's like so pretty um and that's what kept me reading I think I got to about halfway and then I was like okay there isn't gonna be a plot like I was still kind of like waiting for it and then I was like no we've read like half the book at this point this is just how the book is it was like difficult to read at points because of that and because I wasn't really like, I didn't know that going in and I had a lot of imposter syndrome with this book because I was like, I just don't feel smart enough to understand it fully when it's not written in like the typical way a book is written. But I'm really glad I persevered. The first half I was like unsure about, I think because of the whole plot thing. I think just because of the whole plot thing, but halfway through there's like a little bit more of a storyline or like a little bit more, a new kind of like area of his life is explored, which I find, I found really, really interesting. The main character is a Vietnamese American and obviously the book is a letter to his mum, but then there's a lot of like chat <laughs> about his grandma as well. So it's all about like those relationships and how they worked and those 
like members of his family lived in Vietnam during the war so it's a lot about like the generational trauma and like almost PTSD maybe and it's like about his experience living in America but it's also about their experiences and their lives and like how he you know his relationship with them I don't want to ruin it um, but there's also like quite a lot of exploration of like sexuality in a way that I've not seen before and you know it wasn't it's hard to describe, you just have to read it, but I think it was written different to how I've ever read that sort of stuff before. And I would really recommend this book. If you haven't read anything for ages and you're looking for a book to like get you started with reading again, I don't recommend this. Um, because it it's almost one that you, like I'm proud to finish it because at points I was like, I, I don't know, I need to, <laughs> at points I was like very confused. And obviously I've never studied, like I quit doing like English and those sort of subjects when I was 16. So I really don't know that much about those sort of subjects at all. Like I'm not smart when it comes to like book stuff. Um, so I'm like glad I pushed through and I'm really happy I read this book because it, it was on my TBR for so long. I did really enjoy it. If you're looking for something a little bit different, very beautifully written, this is an amazing book. Um, it explores like race, sexuality, um, kind of like parental, like family relationship. The idea of like not being able to communicate because his, there's like a lot of like language barrier issues within like his like sort of family, which is something I can relate to. It's like most of my, a lot of like my grandparents on my dad's side, why is there a fly? My grandparents on my dad's side don't speak like the best English. And there's always that kind of like, you know, you want to communicate, but it's like way harder. And I think that, that was like represented well in this book and like explained well. An extremely original book. Obviously I'm not like a book connoisseur, I haven't read every book on the planet, but I will say I think this is very original. So yeah, I'm now reading Ghosts by Dolly Alderton. I haven't really read since I've been in Edinburgh, but I've read, I read this like the day that I was in North Berwick and I've just read like 50 pages of it. And I really like this. This is complete contrast to this book. I just wanted to read something that was quite fast not fast paced but just like easy to read and like I could just like get it finished um, relatively quickly and I saw this in a supermarket for £4.50 isn't that a great deal for a book? I thought that was a great deal so that's my little book review I hope you enjoyed the vlog and see you on Sunday